Have you noticed just how much better tomato juice can taste when you're on an airplane than when you're at home? The fact is, where you are affects how things taste. I'm Mike Barrow, diving in Boca del Toro, Panama, where I'll be tasting MTV, Mike Tango Bravo 2007. This is our wine from Mendoza, Argentina. And this is the exact spot where Christopher Columbus in 1502 anchored his fleet and drank the last drops of red wine that he'd brought from Spain. Now, some time ago, I heard about Piero Lugano and his winery, Abisi Wines, uh, from Italy. And Piero had this brilliant idea of storing his wine underwater in steel cages rather than using refrigerated storage. So hats off to you, Piero, for that. But have you ever tasted your wines underwater? Well, here goes my first attempt to drink wine underwater. Now, drinking wine underwater is not an easy task. It's a minor engineering feat, actually. For one thing, color changes at these murky depths, and you're unable to smell. Our engineers initially wanted to develop an underwater submarine wine bar. But in the end, simply covering a glass with plastic wrap such that I could break through the seal with the dart of my tongue proved to be effective. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised by the svelte, buoyant freshness of MTB at these depths. Red wine looks like octopi ink. On my third and fourth attempts, I drank a little bit more of the ocean than I would have liked, giving the wine a viscous saltiness, not unlike drinking red wine after a plate of oysters. Salud! And remember, drink and dive in moderation.